Do you remember the last time you used a cookie cutter to make treats for your weekly TechWiki viewing party? Well, even if that was for a different occasion, odds are that your cookies came out looking slightly different, no matter how oh. identical you tried to make them. This is the same concept behind binning, a term used by the manufacturing industry to sort things, like for instance, processors and memory modules by quality once they're manufactured. You see, although manufacturing processes for computer chips are extremely precise, there's going to be some variation between them due to the intricacies involved in fabricating such tiny, complicated components. For example, a CPU with a certain microarchitecture, which you can learn more about in this video up here, will have targets for performance, power management, and thermal output all set by the manufacturer. If a certain sample hits these targets, it will be binned at a higher quality and end up being sold as a higher end product. But if it falls short, it will end up being a more value oriented product. Multi-core CPUs illustrate this very well. Let's say you have a Core i3 from Intel sitting in your rig right now. Although it's a dual core processor, the actual die might have actually been four cores. If a chip has a core that isn't up to par, but has others that function as intended, the defective cores can be disabled and the chips are sold at a lower tier. So that i3 in your machine could have actually been an i5, but some small thing went wrong in the factory. On the other hand, the highest bin consumer grade Intel CPUs often become the unlocked K series chips marketed to overclockers, as these are typically the ones that perform the best without having to crank the voltage way high or putting out an insane amount of heat. Even so, due to the minute differences between individual processors, overclocking results will vary between even favorably binned unlocked chips, the so-called silicon lottery you hear enthusiasts talking about. The same concept also appears in graphics cards as well. Oftentimes when there's a new GPU release that isn't something on the extremely high end, you'll see a review that says it has the same GPU as a more expensive model but with X number of compute units disabled. This is often due to binning, where a GPU might have a block of compute units that don't make the cut quality-wise, so they're disabled instead and sold as a, say, GTX 950 instead of 960. So hold on a second, you're telling me that I can turn on extra cores that might be hiding on my CPU or GPU and get some free performance if I slap on a better cooler or something, right? Unfortunately, no, that party has kind of ended. Years ago, it was more commonly possible on certain products through some BIOS trickery or maybe a firmware update here or there. But these days, most major manufacturers physically disable the connections between inactive cores and the rest of the processing unit so that they can't be used at all by consumers. But even so, don't feel bad if you bought a lower bend chip. Just remember that you saved an innocent CPU from being melted down for gold and silicon and didn't even have to make a monthly donation because you saw a depressing TV commercial. TunnelBear VPN lets you connect to 20 different countries, allowing you to browse the internet and use online services as if you're in said different country. They have an easy to use app for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac, and they even have a Chrome extension if you just wanna have like one thing going in that country and not everything. Just choose a country in the app, turn TunnelBear on, and watch as your bear tunnels your internet connection to a new location. When you turn TunnelBear on, two things happen. Your connection gets encrypted with AES 256 bit, which is awesome, and your public IP address gets switched so you can show up as if you're in a different country, like I just said. You can try out TunnelBear VPN with 500 megabytes of free data with no credit card required. And if you want to upgrade to unlimited data, you can save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com slash Linus. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. Comment down below if there's like stuff you want us to cover. Someone released a really good comment recently that had like four different things that we haven't covered yet that were great ideas. So we're probably gonna do those. Don't forget to subscribe and check out Channel Super Fun. We do like weird stuff. This probably sounds horrible in the mic and there's like things bouncing off of me and it's bad. But if you didn't like that sound, you should go there. Don't know how that works. Go there anyways.